Overslept again. Mr. Morris is gonna have my ass. I still got 40 minutes. I can make it. My parents must have had a really great sense of humor when they named me Felix. Latin for lucky. <laughs> I'm anything but. Still got a chance of making it. I guess that's what my girlfriend, now ex-girlfriend, was trying to tell me. She always said I needed to focus on the positives in life, to stop worrying about the negatives. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe, just maybe, my luck is about to change. Could be any worse. You could look like Frankenstein's monster. Very funny. No, no, I mean, aren't you late for a meeting downtown at Universal with all the other classic horror monsters? How is Wolfman these days? Still dodging silver bullets. You finished? Yeah. Took you long enough to get here. You got everything, right? <laughs> yeah. I got it all. I meant the groceries. Oh, you meant the groceries. Yeah, uh, it's all there. Don't worry. Cool. Obviously you're not. That's what my mom said. So, uh, what's the piano for? Yeah, Jennifer J. For the way you make juice. Can you, can you stop it, please? For me. Can you, can you stop? Oh, sh no, stop. Ah! You are literally the worst piano player I have ever met in my life. So, sure. now that you've ruined my day, how are you doing? I mean, I'm on painkillers, you know. So they're pretty much taking the edge off, but... And I can still walk, so, I mean, it could be worse. Exactly. But, uh, I wish Jen was here, though. Elix, Jen's gone. Jen's gone and she is never coming back. But you know what? You're better for it. Besides, you got me. And damn it, that's all you need. At least you know I'm not gonna screw some other guy behind your back, Jen. Never say never. Anywho, enough of this moping around crap. You and I, we're getting out of here. Have you seen my face? You see what's, what's on this face? Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna go out like this. Oh, come on. Look, come on. Sure. Hey, hey, sure. You may get some weird looks, but you're like a wounded puppy. Girls always want a guy they can nurse back to health. It's called the Florence Nightingale effect. You are sick. You know that, right? Yes. Look, the best way to forget about the past is to drive balls out into the future. God. Don't use a driving metaphor around me, please. And we're going. I don't want to really go out. We're going. I don't want to. We left the house for this. <sighs> Look, Felix, I need to pick up a book real quick, okay? You don't understand. I'm feeling really self-conscious right now. <sighs> Look at me. Look, man, you, <sighs> you need to calm down, okay? Here, take a breath with me, okay? Felt good, all right? Look, man, there's not even anyone important in here, okay? Now, why don't you just look around for a minute? You might find something interesting. Okay, might as well get used to this now. That a boy. I've actually read that. It's pretty good. Probably King's best. I've heard nothing but good things about it. But to be honest, a thousand plus page novel is kind of overwhelming. 
You don't seem like the kind of person that would be easily intimidated, if I may say so. <sighs> the, I usually wear a paper bag on the weekends. Uh, the bandages are my going out attire. <laughs> what do you have there? Oh, just some book I have to read for class. I go to state, hopefully my last semester if all goes according to plan. Hmm. What are you studying? Actually, Alright, I got the book. We can leave now. Do you mind kind of in the middle of something? I see. I'll be over there. Sorry about that. It's okay. I should get going. You know, I'm probably way off with this. But, uh, would you want to hang out sometime? We can talk more about books. Yeah, I'd like that. I can give you my number. Sure. I left my phone in the car. Uh, here, just write down on this. Okay. Um, here it is. Uh, if I don't pick up, just leave a message. Cool. Oh, it was nice meeting you. Um, sorry, I didn't catch your name. Laura. Laura. It's a nice name. Felix. Call you sometime soon? Sounds good. Well, bye. Bye. So. What was that about? I got a number. What? How do you check it out? Let me see that. What? <coughs> Atta boy! See? The most amazing things happen in the most unlikely places. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I know you know that, but don't you know they invented a thing called a cell phone? Why'd you write it in a book? I forgot it in the car. <sighs> Rookie mistake. Would you... well... Would you mind if I use yours? I... I left mine in the car, too. All right, desperate times call for desperate measures. Mm. I'm just gonna take it out to my car real quick, mm. you know, without paying for it. You know, but you know, I'll just copy it down on my phone. Wait, you mean steal the book? Well, I'm not gonna. <sighs> okay, I'm with you to the end. It's not like anyone's gonna recognize your face anyway. All right, let's do this. After you. Uh, excuse me. Planning on paying for that book? I mean, I know you dress like the Invisible Man, but that doesn't mean I can't see you walking out of here with that book. <laughs> Listen, sir. I just copied something down on the cover. I just wanted to go outside to my car so I can copy it down real quick. I'll be right back. You wrote in my book? <laughs> well, you gotta pay for it now. Okay. How much do I owe you? This is the first edition, so, uh, that'll be $300, buddy. Hey, Laura, it's Felix, the guy from the bookstore. I'm just, uh, calling to see if maybe you want to hang out sometime, maybe grab some food or something like that. Oh, you mean that horrible freak? Actually thinks I might be interested in him? Why don't you stay away from me, you bandaged eyesore? Gee, just grow some balls. Call her. Hello? Hi, I just got a call from this number. Yeah, hi, it's Felix from the bookstore. Uh, sorry, my, my, my reception at my place is terrible. Oh, hey, that's okay. I was hoping you'd call. Well, well yeah, I, I was actually really glad to uh, get you. <laughs> I was half expecting to get the rejection hotline. No, I'd never do that. I really wanted you to call. 
seemed like someone I'd legitimately like to get to know better. In that case, what are you doing this weekend? So I've been having so much fun lately, I kind of forgot the reality of the situation I've been in. So how's the healing process coming along for you? you have any itching, any bleeding, any major sign of discomfort? Uh, no, no. Nothing like that. But to be honest, um, I've been kind of too afraid to look at myself in the mirror. Of course, that's completely understandable. Um, Give you an idea, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take off your bandages and I wanna see how the healing process is coming along. Um, a major concern is to check you for signs of uh, any kind of infection, address anything like that. And um, you know, just let you know, you could have some scarring um, and um, you know, we'll put a fresh bandages on you and then we'll send you two on your way. How's that sound? Sounds good. Great. Um, would you mind stepping out for a second? I, I'm not ready, ready for you to see me yet. I understand. I'll be in the waiting room. Thanks. Good luck. Yeah, so the doctor says the bandages can come off for good in a couple of days. That's great. I'm excited for you. Scary thought, though. Rachel, what are you doing here? I, I I thought you were in New York for your aunt's wedding. I just got back last night. You were supposed to call me when you got in. I know, sorry, but I got home late and I didn't know if you were awake. Who's your friend? Oh, I'm sorry, this is Felix. I didn't know you were dating somebody. Hi, Felix. Hi, hi, nice to meet you. Likewise. So, how long have you guys been together? About two weeks, right? Awesome. Everything going okay? Life is good. We just got back from a doctor's appointment and needed to go for a walk. Great. Oh, I don't want to keep you guys too long. I gotta go get my heart rate back up. It's great to meet you, Felix. Same here. I totally wasn't expecting to see her here. <laughs> what, what was that all about? What was what all about? That. She acted like she had no idea who I was. She's been in New York for the last couple weeks. I haven't seen her since you and I met. And the entire time, you guys never talked, texted, emailed, or anything? She's been really busy catching up with family. I didn't want to bother her. What's the problem? Are you sure? You're just ashamed to be with me. Why would I be ashamed to be with you? Isn't it obvious? I don't care about that. You mean more to me than that. How shallow do you think I am? Shallow enough to keep me a secret. 
I was never ashamed of you. Until now. You know, this room is almost as depressing as you are. No, if you keep sitting here, you're going to get stuck to this couch. I mean, it's a great looking couch and all, but you kind of ruined the whole look of it. What do you want? Well, you weren't answering your phone. I thought you might have offed yourself. So I came by to see what I could snag before everyone else called dibs on all your crap. Very funny. Please leave. Hey, don't get hostile with me. So, what happened? I can only assume she found a picture of you before the accident and decided to split. She didn't tell her friend about me. Like she was dating a leper. That's it? That's what happened? In a nutshell. In a nutshell, do you know how ridiculous you sound? So a pretty scratch that smoking hot girl decides to even look in your general direction, strikes up a conversation with you, miraculously gives you her phone number, which we paid $300 for, by the way, and goes out of her way to get to know you, and what do you do? You sabotage it? I don't understand, do you like plan this stuff or do you just fall into it? But look at me. I am looking at you. And you know what I see? I see a guy who won the lottery. But threw away his ticket. Hi. Hi. Thanks for agreeing to see me. What do you want, Felix? Okay. Here goes. I didn't mean what I said the other day. I'm so incredibly lucky to have found someone like you. I'm just mad at myself. I couldn't fathom that someone as beautiful as you would be interested in someone like me. I love who I am when I'm with you. You made me forget about all the problems of the present and made me look forward to the future. I used to think that the accident was the worst thing that could happen to me. But I let that car crash me a million times over and meant falling in love with you again. You really mean it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 